So you've seen this curve and you understand the concept of what it means to flatten the curve. But right now, today, where do we and other countries actually find ourselves on the curve? That's the focus of this issue of Shareable Science Beyond the Blog. Welcome to Shareable Science. Science you can share. So let's talk about a question that I think is on a lot of people's minds right now, which is if this is the curve, if we do no mitigation, if this is the, the number of new cases per day, if we don't do anything to try to slow the spread, and this is the capacity of a, of a healthcare system, and we are trying to implement ways to flatten the curve, if all this is what's going on, where are we on the curve? Are we making progress? Are we finding ourselves on the blue line? Or are we still on the black line heading way up above capacity? It's challenging to know the answer to that question, in part because it takes a number of days for any mitigation activity to actually show an effect in terms of the number of new cases. From some of our previous sessions, you might remember that there's anywhere from two to 14 days between when someone is exposed and they actually begin showing symptoms. So when we actually test them and get a positive, we're actually looking at something that happened maybe even two weeks earlier. So it's challenging for us to get a sense of where exactly we are on that curve, except that we can look back and see, have we changed what our overall trajectory is? So there's an article that's a couple of days old in the New York Times on the 19th of March. It's called, Which Country Has Flattened the Curve for the Coronavirus? that attempts to answer that very question. So let me look at four different graphs. China, Italy, and the United States. The red line you're looking at is the seven-day average of the number of new cases in a single day. So you look at the number of new cases over the last seven days, you average that, and that's the point that you draw on the map. Again, number of cases, and I've got all of them at roughly the same scale, and I've also got them at all roughly the same time points, even though cases were originated, cases were identified much earlier in China than in Italy, and then even a little bit later in the United States. So if we look at the number of cases, the average, the seven day average, you can see China has actually done the curve flattening. They have done what they set out to do. They actually were able to maintain and then drop their number of cases instead of the traditional uh, curve that you see right here. So they've been successful. The challenge is as they begin to relax the rules around social isolation and around locking people into places, will you actually, because now you're gonna have a whole bunch of people that haven't been infected, will you see the virus go back up? And what's the, what are the processes for how they're gonna ultimately relax that? Let's compare that to what we see in Italy. The number of cases didn't really start to increase in Italy until right at the very beginning of March. And they are still on that upward trajectory. We don't have a whole lot of evidence that there's much curve flattening taking place yet. But again, it's only been a couple of weeks since they introduced the much more drastic lockdown of the entire country and closed businesses and places where people gather. So if they've been successful, we would expect to begin seeing a flattening of their curve as well. The United States, you can see we're even later in the increase in cases than you see in Italy. And we are still, so we're still, you know, below roughly 2,000 or right around 2,000 for a seven day um, average per, uh, of cases per day. But we still also are on that, this stage of the trajectory. Again, it'll take us a couple of weeks to know if the decisions that were made around the middle of March are actually going to flatten the curve or if we're gonna have to have additional um, measures put in place. So you're gonna to wanna to follow these, and there are a number of websites that are posting what these numbers are and what they look like to give you a sense of what the curve is. You wanna see something like this, you do not wanna see something continuing like this. 
So that begins to get us a sense of where are we on the curve. So if you find this useful, please feel free to share it with other people. Thank you for watching. This is Shareable Science Beyond the Blog. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you again next time.